Today, I tell of our fans online. I'm Paula Ferris. And I'm Rob Nelson with the top stories on this Thursday, June 7th. Well, opening statements are set for Monday in the Jerry Sandusky child sex abuse trial. It took only two days for lawyers to select jurors to hear the case. Now, many of the seven women and five men have very close ties to Penn State University, where Sandusky was an assistant coach. But the judge said those connections should not matter as long as the jurors can remain impartial. A Massachusetts teenager has been sentenced to two and a half years behind bars for a fatal traffic accident that happened while he was texting. Prosecutors say the high school student sent nearly 200 messages the day of the crash, including some just a minute or so before impact and dozens more after it. He's expected to serve only about a year of his sentence. New York City police have wrapped up a search at the home of the man who confessed to killing Aton Pates, confiscating a computer hard drive, among other evidence. Pedro Hernandez's wife opened the door for officers when they arrived at the family home in New Jersey. Now the search comes about two weeks after Hernandez made his surprising confession, but so far there's been absolutely no evidence to back up his claim. Now to a scary kind of story. Grown men getting the scare of their lives and shrieking like a teenage girl. <laughs> Unsuspecting product testers were asked to show how they use pine saw to clean up household messes. Little did they know germs weren't the only things lurking in that house. <laughs> Calm down, buddy. That is the pine saw lady herself. Yeah, you see her right there in the back. Actress Diana Amos having a little fun at the men's expense, busting through the wall. FYI, though, of course, you're wondering about this. No tester was hurt in the filming of that very funny prank. She could look like she, she could hurt a fly, though. Yes. They're all okay. Just a good laugh for all of us. Yeah, calm down, fellas. You can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Paula Bears. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it.